Imagine boarding a plane, expecting to reach your destination in a few hours, but instead ending up in a completely different time and place. This is what happened to Pan American Flight 914, which vanished in 1955 and reappeared 37 years later in Caracas, Venezuela. On July 2, 1955, Flight 914 departed from New York to Miami with 57 passengers and a crew of four. After three hours of smooth flying, the plane inexplicably disappeared from radars and failed to reach its destination. Attempts to contact the aircraft were unsuccessful, and a subsequent search and rescue mission found no trace of it, leaving investigators puzzled for decades. Fast forward to September 1992 in Caracas, where air traffic controller Juan de la Corta experienced something extraordinary. A strange blip appeared on his radar, a propeller-driven aircraft that seemed to materialize out of thin air. The pilot identified the plane as Pan Am Flight 914, originally bound for Miami from New York. The tower was baffled, questioning how the flight had ended up 1,100 miles away from its intended destination. The pilot claimed they were scheduled to land in Miami on July 2, 1955, the exact date of their disappearance 37 years earlier. As ground units prepared to assist the plane, the situation took a bizarre turn. Without authorization, the pilot took off again, leaving everyone in the control tower in utter disbelief. This unexpected departure added to the confusion as the plane vanished without a trace for the second time. The incident left investigators and air control personnel grappling with unanswered questions. What had happened during those missing 37 years? How did the plane end up in Caracas? And why did the pilot refuse assistance and depart again? The true fate of Flight 914 remains an enigma, shrouded in mystery and speculation, with no clues to unravel the bizarre sequence of events.